A little more than a year ago, I did a video on my top three favorite tools that included a review of this little guy, this little pocket knife right here. Well, since then, I haven't found anything better, so I thought I'd revisit that review and share with you a few things that I've learned about it since then. It's this little guy called the TPT Slide from a company called Big Idea Design. Now this video is not sponsored whatsoever. I paid full price for this in Amazon. And the reason why I'm doing a re-review is because I love this so much. I have it with me every single day. I use it every single day and it's never failed me once. So be sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I've got some more things that I've learned since I started using this that I'd like to share with you. But for now, here's that video segment that I did before that talks about the basic overview and features of the TPT Slide. I started looking for a minimalist utility knife blade holder. And by that, I mean something that's just slightly larger than the utility knife blade itself, but also had a belt clip. So I could put it here in my pocket where I normally keep my pocket knife and was usable. And by that, I mean something that is still big enough to grab so I don't have to worry about it sliding out of my hand or cutting myself so I can slice and dice all those boxes. But it also needed to have a blade that was easy to deploy and easy to replace without having to use a tool. So here's what I found. It's called the TPT Slide. It's a titanium pocket tool that comes in matte black and stonewashed silver. I went with the black. It came with a 550 paracord lanyard, but I removed mine to keep it even more minimal. Not only does it hold standard utility knife blades, but it also has a few other features. It has the one-handed operation, so it's easy to deploy the blade. It's got a belt clip, which is removable by the way, so you can keep it clipped in your pocket like you would a standard pocket knife. It's also got a built-in bottle opener, which I use all the time, and it even works without removing the blade. So cool. It's got a mini pry bar, which also can act as a flathead screwdriver. This is great for opening paint cans too. Removing the blade takes a little bit of work. I hold it like this and twist it, then the blade comes out. You can flip it around or replace it. This takes a little bit getting used to, but once you figured it out, it's not a problem. Speaking of which, when the blade is out, its opening acts as a universal SAE and metric wrench, accommodating fasteners up to 12 millimeters or 7 16 of an inch. Now this didn't work out well at all for me during testing. In fact, I couldn't get it to work once. It's even got a hex opening to hold your hex bit drivers so you can use your screwdriver bits or your sockets. It's pretty cool. So that's how I wrapped up the previous video, but there's more that I wanna share about it. First, this is the smallest, lightest, and thinnest pocket knife that I've ever owned, hands down. So after 15 months of daily use, this impressively does not show any signs of wear. I mean, it's made out of titanium, but it is black. It's painted black somehow. They have a silver version of this as well. But there's no scratches, dents, scrapes, nothing. It looks as good as it did the day that I got it, except for the pry tool area, which I think they say is also a screwdriver. So let's talk about that for a second, because as a screwdriver, this part here at the very back end is completely useless. It just does not work as a flat blade screwdriver in any circumstance that I've put it in, except for my camera mounts. It's actually come in pretty handy for that, but it's got a pretty wide opening for those camera mounts. So that's been useful as well as opening up paint cans. But other than a couple of scratches there, which are pretty minimal, I'll show you a close up. Um, this has no signs of damage or use. I could sell it almost brand new right now, which is pretty cool. But I do hope that they update this uh, pry tool area, the flat blade screwdriver in a future version. Maybe the TPT slide version two will have a better engineering on that. I hope. Now, while it does have a few extra things that it can do, the main thing that I use it for is just cutting. It's easy to deploy the blade and retract it. It's small, it just, it's always clipped in my pocket. And in fact, I can't remember a single day over the past year plus where I haven't had it with me. So the biggest complaint that I've heard from other people is that it's difficult to change out the blades. Uh, I've never really found that a challenge from day one. And I like that it requires some amount of effort to get the blade out because I certainly don't want it coming out accidentally on its own. So what's my favorite thing that I absolutely adore about the TPT slide and the main motivating factor for me revisiting this review and spending the money that I initially did on it, because it wasn't cheap, after reviewing everything else on the market at the time, now, an everyday carry or EDC pocket knife such as this is great, but it's also easy to forget that you have it on your person. I mean, for me, it's just always here in my pocket. It becomes a part of me, and any time that I want to use it, I just grab it, I deploy it, I cut stuff, and then I put it back in there, and back in my pocket it goes, and I'm a happy guy, and it happens all the time, and I absolutely love it. Now, before the TPT slide, I had a regular fixed blade pocket knife, something with a blade that you could not remove. And as a result, I've had them confiscated at security checkpoints um, because uh, my car was, you know, miles away or I couldn't go stash it 
in a planter or hide it anywhere really. So I've actually lost some of my pocket knives in the past. Um, just got into those situations that you couldn't get out of. Now with the TPT slide, it's different because anytime you forget and you get to a security checkpoint and they go, hmm, what's that? Well, all you gotta do is remove the blade, toss it in the trash and you're good to go because your security guy is gonna look at this weird alligator looking thing and go, hmm. I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty harmless and I don't think you can hurt anybody with it. Then when you get back home or you get to your destination, you just put in a new blade and you're good to go again. And that is why I love this thing so much and it's worth the price. Now, price-wise, it's a little bit more than your standard budget pocket knife that you're gonna get at Walmart, but uh, it's also much less than some of your high-end pocket knives. So it just kind of depends on how you look at things. But for me, I look at it from the standpoint of how small it is. It's just slightly larger than the blade itself, how thin, it's basically indestructible. Again, more than a year and no problems whatsoever with this thing. It works just the same and ah, I just absolutely love it. And that's why I'm talking about it again. So if you wanna check this out, I've got a link down in the description and thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.